What's up everyone? This is Things That Fun. I am John and this is day four of my blown head gasket repair on my Lotus Esprit. Today I got some bad news that um, there is no record of what shims go where on my engine. So that means I have to start from scratch and figure out uh, which ones go where. Almost all of them are mixed up for the exhaust or every one of them. I have no idea which one goes where. Two of them were swapped on the, or mixed up on the intake, but I'm going to check them all just to be on the safe side. So I think I've got everything I need. And ready to go. Um, I've got the head supported here. Uh, I'm going to be cleaning up the uh, cam tower bolts. I have all the shims labeled, the followers labeled. Um, I have my feeler gauge and a micrometer and... Uh, it's going to be kind of learning as I go. I'm, I'm following some threads on uh, the Lotus forums that are pretty detailed on how to do this. So I think I'll be able to do it with no issue. It's just a matter of how many times am I going to have to remove the cam towers and try different shims before I get them right. And are any of the valves worn or the shims uh, compressed since they were done? Um, and will I have to get new shims if I do that? So another three day delay at the least if I have to order those. So anyway, here we go. Alright, I'm done for the day. Um, recap. So I have to order shims. About nine of the valves are just out of spec. So there's actually a TVR shop just a couple of miles from here. Uh, I'm going to go there in the morning. Uh, from what I've read, TVR, Saab, and there's a couple other makes that share similar shims. So I'm going to go see if they've got some. If not, I'll order them from JE tomorrow. Hopefully have them Thursday or Friday. So that puts me a day or two behind schedule. The parts will be here tomorrow. Um, I could go ahead and put the head on, but then I'd end up having to put the shims on the cam towers and checking those one last time on the vehicle. So I'm not going to do that. I'll just wait. Get the shims in, double check them, and then mount the cam towers to the head and install the head um not a bad day just kind of uh tedious a lot of repetitive stuff i did screw up at one point i had the cam tower on reversed so i had to redo it um but other than that not a bad day it was just uh, repetitive not really physically taxing so maybe tomorrow i'll have a if they got those shims in stock tomorrow at the TVR place, I might, you know, be able to crack on. But otherwise, I might be uh, not doing anything really significant tomorrow on this. So, uh, rest day would be appreciated anyway. So, that's it. I uh, want to take a look at the uh, head one time, one more time, nice and cleaned up. So, there it is. Nice and clean and oiled down. Cam towers here. Just waiting on these shims. I've got them all laid out in the correct order for the exhaust and for the intake and have all the numbers documented. And if I can't pick those up tomorrow locally, I'll use these numbers to order a set, uh, a couple of sets. So, so hopefully the next uh, video will be assembling all this. And maybe the video after that, cranking it up and getting it going. Hopefully I'll have it for this coming weekend. I mean, that's kind of tight, but I really, I really miss uh, having my spree running. I, I drive it. Whenever it's not raining, that's the vehicle I take. So anyway, see you next time.